Abraham Hicks. Who is he? What is he? He's sort of a she, actually, and a few different entities from the other side. Confused? Well, stay tuned. I'll tell you more. And welcome back to the Brick a Breck shop. And this is the portal to the paranormal, the spiritual, the unexplained. And I'm Tom from the shop. So welcome to the Brick a Brack shop. Abraham Hicks. I've explained him to some of my friends who've asked me about him. And, well, to me, he's probably the best explanation actually to the universe and manifesting. And it has all the answers to me. So, what is Abraham Hicks? Well, to put it straightforwardly, it's Esther Hicks who actually channels entities from the other side. And I thought, probably what some of you were thinking now, it's all a bit of hocus pocus. And I originally came across Esther and Jerry Hicks as they were then. And I just thought, it's just another woman channeling from the other side. And so I dismissed it because there are so many on YouTube and the other platforms doing exactly that. But Abraham actually stood out slightly different because I think my timing was then right later on when I found Esther Hicks being interviewed by Oprah. Now, when you delve back into it and you actually listen to the radio broadcast on, on Oprah. And I'll, I'll put the link down below so you can actually listen to it as well, because that was what actually convinced me. Because going back to the beginning, yes, Esther is channeling, but who she is channeling or what she is channeling speaks truths that really explains a lot of things, for me anyway. I'm sure other people will have their own interpretations of it and their own opinions of it. But how Esther started was, um, it was originally Esther and Jerry Hicks. And Esther was not the sort of person to delve into uh, the esoteric so to speak. On various incidences, I think it was more of her husband, Jerry, on more incidences, they decided to do meditation. And so Esther used to get into meditations. And um, it's the same thing as we all do when we start meditating. We have thoughts that come through our head and all sorts of things that we just can't clear our mind. Esther managed to get to a, a good level and then she noticed she was moving her head a lot. And then she realized she was actually drawing or writing with her nose. So, to cut a long story short, she realized it was an entity moving her head and writing things with her nose in the air, so to speak, until she began to calm down and actually let them, what's the best word? Talk to her, you could say. Talk to her through her mind. And ever since then, she's been channeling, bringing down these entities from the other side. Now she's, or Jerry and Esther, called them Abraham. Just to make it simplify, because there's apparently a few of them. And to make it simplify, they're referred to as Abraham. And Abraham brings his knowledge down through 
Esther. Now, it might be slightly like all the other mediums out there, um, vessels, whatever the right word is, that channels and brings down entities from the other side. But the way the knowledge passed on from Abraham is something that relates to all of us and has a lot of explanations for everything. For me, anyway. Like the universe. Everything is a manifestation. Which goes to the other topic I will talk about later on another video of um, simulations. Maybe this world is a simulation. What do you think? Well, everything is a manifestation, according to Abraham. And, and when you think about it, a lot of it is. And don't forget, if you're getting value out of this video, which I hope you are, click the like button, tell your friends, share the video, bring them in, ask them what they think about this, they agree with you or disagree or think it's a whole lot of rubbish. Uh, and if it's your first time, please subscribe so you won't miss out on my other videos. And also press the alarm bell and the notification button as well, so you won't miss out. Now Abraham Hicks, you could say, is another form of manifesting. However, it's a simpler form and a form that I can relate to and explains a lot. However, there is just a very small key that you got to get right. Now, if you're in this manifesting uh, interest, I'm sure you've come a lot on, on YouTube and other videos. There's so many manifesting videos out there and they all have their different ways of manifesting. And they've had success with it, which obviously proves there are many ways to manifest. So I'm not saying this is the right way and I'm not saying it's the wrong way. I'm just saying use the method that works best for you. So that's how Esther and Jerry came about with Abraham. And they sort of adopted him and so became known as Abraham Hicks. Now in 2011, Jerry passed away. So it's just Esther. But why Abraham and Esther and Jerry are so important or influential, to me anyway, is that We've all heard of The Secret, the book by Rhonda Byrne. Now, Rhonda actually based The Secret on the teachings of Abraham Hicks. Very interesting, that. And so, we've actually got the basics of it. But if you go to the source, it's Abraham. And that's why I've seen, well, I do follow The Secret some people find it works for them and other people unfortunately have difficulties manifesting and I think that is because there is a simple key that is missing or overlooked by people practicing manifesting and I think Abraham Hicks has it because the secret was actually based on Abraham Hicks, the teachings of Abraham Hicks. Now, I went back to say that uh, Esther started channeling Abraham and he started giving her information and then they started writing books and doing workshops on manifesting. And of course, Rhonda found them and wrote her book on the subject as well. But if we go back to Abraham, there is explanations for everything. Like all the problems in the world. Um, well, most of them anyway. And it seems like, yes, there are problems in the world, but some people are not affected by them. And they're able to get through the problems, the problem times, and still survive it. And, and it is perception. 
and it is their way of looking at things and what they attract to themselves. And that's very much along the lines and teachings of Abraham. Now, they originally had a three-step process for all this, and over the years, it's actually got a bit longer. They've got they've now got a five-step process because I think people didn't totally understand or still kept missing that uh, simple key. It's basically step one: you ask, source gives it to you. Now, source is your higher self or the universe, that higher entity out there, and can basically grant you your wishes, so to speak, your desires. So step one, you ask. Step two, source answers. So source gets it for you. And step three, and this is the tricky one, you allow it to happen. Now then they go on to step four, which is maintain that recognition and vibration of accepting it. And step five is to realize the situation and keep it going. And any other contrasting situations to come up is not to get pulled down by it, but to realize it's a helping hand to repeat the process again. Now I'll go into that. Now, as I was saying before, step one, you ask. Step So whatever you desire, you ask for it. And in a lot of cases, it's because things aren't working out and you want something different because you know you haven't got it because things aren't working out. So you ask for what you want. You ask. Step two, source answers. It is given and it's sort of like given in the virtual side of things. So you already have it. Now, step three is the tricky part. That is bringing it down. Now, a lot of people will concentrate on it. They will just keep thinking, oh, I want something simple, let's say. Let's say um, $10,000. Oh, I want $10,000. Let's say you want to buy something with that. Right, let's say a car or something that you want. I want $10,000. I want $10,000. And while they're saying that, it's sh sort of showing their subconscious that they haven't got it. That's why they're wanting it. And that's why their subconscious gives them more of what they want, which is the lack of that $10,000, so to speak. I hope you're following it. It gets really tricky, which is that simple key which everyone seems to be missing. So the thing is to let go and just let it happen. And Esther talks about this a lot. And the more you want it, sometimes the more desperate you get that you need this $10,000. Let's say you need to pay a bill or something with it, heaven forbid. Uh, and this is why people can't get it out of their mind. And they said, and they desperately want it because they need the 10000 And they say, I want the 10000 I want the 10000 And it's always on their mind, which is creating this lack. Now, Anessa says... You've got to stop this vibration of lack. So the best thing that Esther suggests is meditate or do something else and get your mind off the subject. And I tend to more get my mind off the subject by seeing a movie or something like that. Basically, just switch your whole thought process so you're no longer thinking about it. Meditation is good because it does center the mind and you can then guide your mind to focus on something else, which is basically what a, a movie or a book would do. Get your mind onto something else. And I've done that before as well. Then your vibration changes. You are no longer thinking about the 10,000. In fact, if you can forget about it completely, that is fantastic because your mind is no longer thinking. Because otherwise, as Esther says, because you're thinking of it, you have a resistance to it. You've got a block wall because you think, well, you're showing you haven't got it and, and they are stopping it from a coming. So if you get rid of uh, the thoughts of it, watch a movie, those resistant thoughts aren't there and the 10,000 can appear in whatever 
form. Strange things have happened, believe me. So that's three, and that's basically the main three steps. Of course, people weren't getting it. So they've elaborated the three-step process into five steps. So the fourth step is maintain your vibration. So basically, get on that good vibration and keep on that level and try not to think of what you're wanting and just let it happen. It's a very, I know it's a very difficult step if you think of it that way, but otherwise it's amazing if you can forget about what you're desiring because that's when it happens. And step five is recognize the process. You realize that this is happening or it's not happening. Basically, if you get into step four on that cruising vibration, I say, it's just, you don't have to worry about it because one, you've forgotten about it and two, it usually appears, <laughs> um, which has happened in, in my manifestations. So stay on that high vibration through step four. Now, a lot of people find it difficult because that 10,000 keeps coming back when they want that 10,000. And so basically step five is repeat the process. You know you haven't got the 10,000, you want the 10,000. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't get depressed about it. Realize that it's a chance to manifest the 10,000. So you go through the process again. Be grateful that this has come up. So you gives you a, a, a goal so to speak, and a desire to get the 10,000. So you put it out there, source will give it to you, and all you have to do is receive it. That's step three, receiving it. And that's why you have to be on that high vibration to receive it. And I will be doing another video on different forms of manifesting. Actually, I'm in the midst of writing uh, a very little book on manifesting as well. So stay tuned for that. So what do you think? Have you tried manifesting? Has it worked for you? Have you got the things you want? And don't let it discourage you because when you say manifest and all of a sudden people think of these multi-million dollar houses and a great lifestyle of traveling around the world first class, but a lot of manifesting isn't always that. It's sometimes just the simple things in life, like just getting that promotion at work, getting a different good job that you want, that everything goes well at the family dinner on the weekend, that sort of thing. You'll be surprised. You don't have to have the big things. Sometimes it's the little things, and sometimes the little things can be just as easy to get. In fact, the big things are just as easy to get as the little ones. So yes, write your comments below and let me know what you think. I've got a few manifestings myself. Actually, I should get more into my manifesting as well. So what do you think? So if you got value out of this video or found it interesting, why don't you get me a drink? The link's down below. And also click the like button, please, and tell your friends, see what they think, have a chat to them about it. And uh, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. It helps the channel to grow and uh, gets us bigger as well. And don't forget to press the bell and the notification button because you will be notified when I do release videos. And join our community as well. We've got a Facebook community at the at the moment. So join us there as well. Links are all down below and have a browse through our spiritual shop, which is affiliated to the UK's number one spiritual store. And they do worldwide shipping at very reasonable prices as well. And their prices are quite reasonable. So that is Abraham Hicks, or the teachings of Abraham, or Jerry and Hester Hicks as well. So I hope that explains a little bit more about Abraham. I'll put a few links down below as well, but all you need to do is search for Abraham Hicks and you'll find tons of write-ups and videos on Abraham. So till next time, stay well and happy.
because happy raises your vibration. And that's why I keep saying that at the end of my videos. And of course, staying well always helps as well. So you've got a very high vibration there, which helps with the attractions and the manifesting. So till then, stay well and happy.